One of the biggest problems in real estate technology is that all of your technologies don't communicate to each other. So there's a big data problem. What you're gonna see here is a behind the scenes footage of us just drilling in, trying to solve that problem using a new technology that we're coming up with. Peter Rex is a real estate entrepreneur who's creating the next trillion dollar business. In this vlog, for the first time, you'll get to see behind the curtain of how a tech empire is built from the ground up. Creating technology to serve real estate owners and operators, Pete will show the meetings that no one else will show you, reveal how startups are actually built, and what being a tech entrepreneur is really like. Welcome to Tech with Rex. It's even worse. What are you talking about? A polo shirt tucked into shorts is even worse than a polo shirt tucked into jeans. Aren't you like 65? What are you talking I'm about? I'm just saying. <laughs> Often the, the best plays are something you're doing for yourself anyways in order to make things work and then you realize, wait, someone else need this? That's, that's how AWS came about really. AWS, they were doing stuff for themselves. They had problems on like engineering velocity of people like code velocity. This is one of the key problems they had. But eventually it emerged out of things they were already doing. And they didn't, I don't think they realized how big it was for a while actually. Because Bezos was focused, his priority was like some other ones. But this other one that emerged out of real needs ended up becoming you know, probably the best business in the world <laughs> currently is <laughs> an insanely good business. So, but I think this one is emerging out of the needs we already have. And I think it's clearly, it's probably like the, it might be like the single biggest problem in the industry is things don't talk to each other from a data standpoint. And you got, we got to be like sophisticated on how we architect and how we set these things up. So Santhar, this is not really something for you. Mm -hmm. This is more to smart. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> One of the things, uh, Zapier is like a pure play connecting tissue for things. I don't know if you guys know Zapier. It's worth looking up. But I think Zapier, to me, like made sense. And I think this Zapier for real estate makes sense. One thing to keep in mind is like, I mean, Zapier, you need all these other like a network of connections to get like even like a little bit of value. But what we are doing, even like one integration, there's going to be like a ton of people on integrate with Resmin, right? Like we have ourselves like four or five companies that want to integrate with Resmin. The real magic of Zapier is that neither side has to change. Like, like Zapier is the one that does that adaptation, so both ends of the equation essentially just do what they do. Yeah. And neither of them has to care about the other. The part about, oh, we want to do X and move it to Y and do all those other things, that essentially is just creating, in, in many ways, just another Zapier. So I'd almost ask the question of, why wouldn't we just use Zapier and connect it to the things that we're um, building rather than actually going and building that ourselves? Can you actually use Zapier for this? Once the integration pieces are there, there's no reason why you couldn't. It's kind of like AWS, right? It's like AWS is great. You can use AWS to solve whatever problem you have. Here's AWS, go build your building, your, your company. Right. And then the person like just goes glass-eyed, like what do they do with it? Well, Franklin said him, that's no problem for him. It's well, but, but to your point, <laughs> none of these companies have Franklin. No, not exactly. You have to make it really user-friendly because you are dealing with, you, we cannot have a solution that is technically oriented for the customer. It has to be a non-technical solution where it's like, you know, basically um, anybody off the street, like any like any property manager that is not even doesn't even want to deal with apps and deal with any of that has no problem setting it up. Back at we were trying to evaluate which particular solution we were going to use for embedding videos into the page because they wanted to upgrade the solution they had. They were looking at Brightcove. We were going to pay Brightcove about four million dollars a year. We looked at the functionality of it, and I came back and I was like, we can recreate all of that functionality in Flash ourselves in about three weeks. And the head of product for the company looked me right in the eyes and said, we can, but instead what we'll do is we'll spend the next 12 months just fighting over what we want the product to do before we actually make any of those decisions. And it's worth the money to me to just pick a tool, the tool solves the problem, and we can move on. And they literally paid millions of dollars for something we could have built ourselves internally in less than a month just because it was a whole solution that solved their problem and they could say, plug in, my problem solved, go on to the next thing. And I think this is more of a bright cove type situation, right? Where you've yeah, got very, exactly. very this is more naive people technically who are just looking mm -hmm. for something that would solve their problem. So that's why I was saying that we should evaluate the market, like the, the value with it, because the people who really want that, they're just buying Yardi. So they wouldn't necessarily want to have some of the other ones. So the question of, you know, how much can we penetrate that and do that? Because I, 
100% agree that there are people who are going to want that. The question is, where is you know where does the market sit right now? How fast are we going to be able to monetize some of this stuff? But I think if you go down chain to like small, so the the long we call it the long the long tail of real estate ownership and property management is so long. So what I want to do from the business standpoint is a lot of people are attacking the fat part right here. I want to go after the long tail, like because everyone's going here because it looks so fat and like they, it gets all that attention. But really, this long tail has like tons of value because there's so many other people in there. So what I want to do is go after a problem with the res prop that we can solve that's real so we know we're hitting a real problem. And if it is at the level that they're happy with it, that means we've delivered a good amount of value because they're going to be more picky. And then immediately pivot out and start selling to the long tail. It's probably robust, the first thing we come up with, that only can do like A, B, and C well. It can't do like the whole alphabet well, but we know that that, that set of customers is all the property management, like real estate ownership industry, so it's, it's fine. But if our tech is somewhat flexible and underlying it, then we could figure out other modules we can put on top of it that can sell outside the industry long term. In the near term, should we focus on actually providing a product for external customers or actually focus on our launches and make sure that they're all well set? I'd focus on, focus, on our, focus on the customers internally that need it. Because then these companies are serving ResProp, but then ResProp needs the data correct or needs whatever they need correct crush that really well and then we'll go external and start selling to other people what are you thinking for seems good seems good <clears throat> right yeah. you get it done tomorrow morning is that you get it done tomorrow morning <sighs> tomorrow tonight uh, <laughs> sorry <man. laughs> all right cool guys thanks 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 Cody. All right, thanks Pete. did my employment contract come with a, a, a release a video release that all images can be collected of me at all times. Hey, thanks for watching. You're in at the beginning stages of something that's gonna be huge that we're doing here at Rex. Please continue to follow us and share it with your friends and spread the word. Thank you.